I'm Tom Lydon here in San Diego with the Charles Schwab Impact Conference. I'm here with Sebastian Benkert from ARK Invest. Great seeing you, Sebastian. Great to be here, Tom. Well, you've got some great news. ARK Invest just hit its five-year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we, we turned five years in January, but our ETFs hit the five-year performance mark in uh, end of September and end of October, yeah. So talk about ARK because it's getting a lot of press lately. You folks are quite different in what you do. Yeah, I mean, at ARC, all we do is we focus uh, solely on disruptive innovation. We try to identify the company in the public market that are the leaders, enablers, and beneficiaries of technology and innovation. The companies that are trying to change how the world works in the future with a three to five year investment horizon. And so we take that research and we offer thematic strategies to our investors in separately managed account format, mutual funds, or for our, our um, RIAs and uh, retail investors, we have a suite of innovation ETFs. Yeah, and, and it's been really exciting to watch because you've got really high convictions in specific companies and when you talk about disruption I mean these are not just your run-of-the-mill technology companies so talk a little bit about your suite that's correct um, so we think innovation doesn't follow sectors, market cap, or style boxes. So the way we're set up, the research and investment team is cross-sector, um, set up based on innovation platforms, trying to understand the conversion that's driven by technology. That's very important. Um, secondly, most of our strategies are fully actively managed, which matters because innovation is such a fast-paced um, environment mostly misunderstood or underestimated, driven by media and short-term um, uh, influence. Um, whereas we believe you need a longer time horizon to understand how technology will change the world and which companies are precision. So that is very important, our five-year time horizon, and we value every company on a five-year basis. Yeah, and, and again, we get too caught up sometimes in the short-term ups and downs, and you look at Amazon, for example, a couple times over its wonderful history, it dropped 90% and people bailed. But specifically to some of the suites. You've got one ETF that I really love, which is uh, genome sequencing, yep. and all the work that's going on in that area, and how quickly and how fast we're making strides. The average investor just doesn't see what's going on in those areas, right? A genomic revolution, and that's ARKG, our ETF, that's yeah. a really good example for the story that we're trying to tell investors. Is We research based on something that's called Wright's Law. You might be familiar with Moore's Law. Uh, Moore's Law is looking at, over the course of two years, costs are declining or like get cut in half uh, consistently. Wright's Law doesn't look at the time. It's a, um, a matter of units produced, meaning how many units do I need to produce in order to cut the cost? cost in half. And so we're modeling whether it's a battery technology cost decline or DNA sequencing cost. We model it based on Wright's law. And it's a very accurate predictor to let us know um, how fast the cost for DNA sequencing will decline. And that will tell us a lot of things, how it will impact pharmaceuticals, healthcare, and you will go to your annual physical checkup and you will get your DNA sequence in the next three to five years because it will only cost $100 to do that. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, as always, Sebastian, love talking to you. And if you haven't gone to ARK Invest, go check it out because you folks really share a lot of research on a regular basis with advisors and uh, I get it regularly and just love it. We like to be transparent, we like to educate, we want to be thought leaders in, uh, on the space of investing in disruptive innovation. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you.